Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. This is going to be a collective reading for all signs. We're going to take a look and see what the cards, what messages the cards are bringing in for you here and predicting for you. Um, if you've clicked on this reading, there's obviously something here that's led you here. So you've been guided to this reading. I believe that the very people or the very things that we're drawn to are not... They're not coincidental, it's not random, it speaks to us. Um, so I believe that, you know, if you've clicked on this reading, there's something in this reading here for you. There's also going to be a part two to this reading, which is going to be made via the extension link below. And um, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay, now with that being said, let's go ahead give the cards a shuffle and let's see what the universe, what the tarot guides want you to know at this particular point in time. Too many cards. We also have the Queen of Swords here, and bottom of the deck you have the Ten of Swords. Okay. The Ten of Swords here indicates that something here is coming to an end for some of you. It could be the end of a romantic connection here. It could be the ending of a relationship, a friendship. It could also signal the ending of um, an emotionally challenging and difficult time here. But it feels like something here is... Uh, it's, it feels like trust is maybe broken here in the process or has been broken in the process. It also feels as if this ending here can come on very strongly, very abruptly here. You may find yourself being ghosted by a romantic connecting energy here um, or that suddenly, a, you know, your world all of a sudden is going to start crumbling um, all around you. So it feels like you've never expected this, but now that it, it has happened or now that it is happening here, for some of you, I feel like it's you could find yourself grieving the pain or the loss of a relationship or of a love here and some of you are probably finding it very difficult to trust again or you're wondering whether or not you'll be trusting someone again here now the ten of swords is typically a uh, you know someone here being the victim on a, of another person's betrayal or deceit here okay you may feel as though you've been stabbed in the back here you may feel as though you've been cheated on or someone here has been very dishonest and disloyal towards you here. The pain that this person has inflicted or is inflicting on you feels like it runs deep. Okay, it feels like it's really hurtful, it runs deep. Um, and it's not because... It's not necessarily because of what they've done to you, it's because of who was on the, you know, who was on the um, end of it, I guess. So along with the feeling of pain and hurt that you're feeling, you're also feeling loss here. This Sometimes this is a card of hitting emotional rock bottom. But I feel like the good news that comes with the card is that this is it. This is the final ordeal, okay? There's no more pain to come from this. There's no more, um, you know, challenges. Um, there's no more hurt to come from this particular person or this particular relationship here. It feels like you have felt that full experience, that full impact of their words or their actions here okay um and it feels like you can start over okay you can start over here okay this ordeal this pain will not last forever here and it's not going to be easy but it is 
you know, the imagery here does indicate to us that you can pick yourself up off the ground, reflect what's happened to you, learn from this experience here. And when you do this, the hurt and the pain and the loss that you're feeling, it is going to fade away here. And also you will soon see why all of this has happened because I feel like the ending, okay, someone's actions here, which um, in turn I feel like ha will cause their departure or the exit from your life or will cause a relationship to sun on the end is going to create and open up space in your life for a new romantic energy to come entering your life here. Yeah, so this is why I feel like, you know, it's important for you to reflect back on why it's happened here yeah, because essentially you will see and high sign is a funny thing you will see that what this person has done is you know it, this wrong one okay this wrong one who has hurt you and who's betrayed you and who's backstabbed you okay uh, mind you they didn't have to necessarily put you through this pain but i feel like it is character building it's taught you things about yourself okay it's taught you things about other connecting energies about love and relationships in the process and I feel like the wrong one, he is leading you to the right one. That's what it feels like here. So, you know, all of this is happening so that you can evolve to your fullest potential. And it's kind of preparing you for this new romantic energy that's coming in. And this person is coming in very quickly. Notice the Knight of Wands energy. It's a very charging. It's a very action oriented energy. So someone here is... Um, vibrationally aligning with you someone here is very enthusiastic they're very energetic and they're very keen to meet you to form a connection with you here so i definitely feel like there's sparks flying your way here someone very bold brave daring and courageous is entering your life here someone who i feel like you'll definitely feel their presence and their energy in your life here you'll definitely feel a shift in your life purely because this you will you know you will get to know this person um and i feel like this person is, sees you as someone who's very highly attractive here so they'll be very attracted to you this is someone who's going to want to pursue you here okay this is someone who enjoys the thrill of the hunt the tra the chase here and this is someone who's going to pursue you like there's no tomorrow here guys um it also feels like this is someone who's going to bring you on with like with them on this adventure okay they've got there are a lot of fun here there are a lot of fun and they're bringing a lot of that fun a lot of that excitement and a lot of that you know energy and zest for life into your world here you're definitely going to be enjoying this extra attention that this person is going to lavish you with you're definitely going to find their um, charisma their personality here their energy their humor very attractive here you're gonna find them extremely attractive extremely alluring here i'm not sure if you are going to keep up with them because they're very energetic here um a great big ball of energy here um and but be mindful that this is the type of energy okay this is the type of person that expresses themselves through action so they may not always tell you what they're thinking here but they will show you what they're thinking and they may not tell you how they feel but believe me they will show you how they feel so it feels like this person fluidly expresses him or herself through their actions rather than their words purely because of the knight of wands energy you know act first think later kind of state um and whilst the attraction and that sexual chemistry and the sparks will definitely be present okay from your first meeting here um, be careful not to be too impulsive or too impatient with getting to know one another or even rushing this connection because this feels like it has staying power um, but it feels it, it feels like don't don't because this person may have a tendency to rush into things okay this is someone who will want to get to know you who will want to pursue you and they do have this tendency to maybe rush through things rush into things here purely because of that you know great big ball of energy that they are here um something here is and i feel like something here is happening very quickly for you so things are going to be happening very fast for you i also feel like you're going to be in a position where you're going to have to choose between two romantic energies here because i feel like there's a new romantic energy coming in a new romantic 
connection that is being formed, a new chapter that unfolds here. There's also some sort of message, some sort of communication that is coming in, but it feels like this could be from someone else and um, from a bit of a younger energy. It could be from someone... Um, it feels like this is someone whom you work with or someone that you st uh, study with. And it feels like this is someone who ad um, really admires you, who it feels like a bit of a secret admirer, I guess. So someone he may op finally open up here and uh, drop a bomb here, tell you that, you know, this person has been secretly admiring you from a distance. I feel like everything's also sort of it's happening all at once. It will feel a little bit overwhelming, let me tell you that, but it'll also feel very exciting because all of a sudden you have this person, you know, whom you will end things with or this person who takes an exit and, you know, depart, makes a departure from your life. And then in the process, they've created this, you know, they've created this room and space for all this newness, for all this novelty, you know, all these new romantic connections and new romantic energies to enter your life. And it's really exciting here. Um, so it feels like you're, it feels like you're, you're aligning you're aligning here with people that are like very suitable or compatible romantic partners. It feels like you're attracting all the right type of people, people who are reciprocating, people who are responding to your energies here and your wants and desires. I'm also seeing that you're going to be in a position where you're going to have to choose because I feel like people here are really lavishing you with all this extra attention. Okay, all of a sudden, everybody will want a piece of you. And you, you'll have them coming out, out of the woodworks here. You'll have exes who will be trying to get back in contact with you. You'll have new romantic energies that you're going to be, um, you know, attracting here. So anyone that does take an exit from your life here, let them. Okay, because look at the five of wands. You'll honestly have... Um, you know, you'll have people fighting for your attention. You'll have romantic energies here, you know, facing off against each other and vying for your attention here. And you're going, you're going to have to have options and you're going to have choices and you're going to have to choose ultimately. Because let me tell you, you know, it may get a little crowded here. I feel like everyone's coming out of the woodworks. It's like, it's like they're sensing that, you know, you're in a good place here. Because a funny thing happens when you start looking after you and start you start giving yourself the love and the attention that you deserve. You know, all of a sudden you start vibrationally attracting people and romant like romantic energies who will do the same, who are in vibrational frequency or alignment with that, and you'll st you'll start attracting romantic suitors who will do the same for you, and that that works in reverse as well. You know, when you fail to give yourself that time, that energy, the attention and the love that you deserve, unfortunately, you you are trapped on a vibrational frequency, the romantic suitors, the romantic partners who would do the same for you as well in that aspect. So here you are, I feel like the tables are definitely going to turn on your situation. You may even have this person here who ghosts you or suddenly leaves you abruptly, they may come to the realization, they may have this light bulb uh, moment and this sudden realization that they've made a mistake, that you know they shouldn't have um, acted so impulsively or so aggressively and just you know ghosted you or just um, they shouldn't have walked away from the connection here. So someone he may come back into your life with, re with regrets, um, someone he whom you were like it feels like once upon a time, you were more invested in uh, in this energy and in this connection than they were. You were the one that was always over committing and over applying yourself simply to overcompensate for this person's lack of efforts. And now all of a sudden that you pull away, it's like, you know, their antennas go up and they sense this. And then all of a sudden they come back into the picture and they want to step up. And all of a sudden, you know, they're wanting your attention and they're wanting to put in work here. So... There's a lot, uh, I feel like there's a lot happening for you. Let me tell you, there's definitely a lot of excitement, a lot of action here, a lot of um, new and even old romantic connections that are being, um, you know, formed and revived here. You're in a position where I feel like I see you making a lot of plans. You're planning, you're, you're making a lot of, um, you're taking a lot of action towards planning here. Um, some of you, I feel like you're going to be really active 
Well, for those of you that are active on dating sites or you're thinking about you know signing up to dating sites, I feel like you're going to have a lot of options, a lot of choices here. In fact, I feel like you're going to be overwhelmed with this smorgasbord of choices that you're going to be presented with. I'm also seeing that someone here who has hurt you, and I feel like it's this particular energy, someone here who has hurt you in the past, someone here who has ghosted you or who suddenly has ended this connection with you wants to, will want to come back into the picture. And I feel like um, there's a reason why they've ghosted you because them ghosting you was in a way sort of... It, because they didn't like slam the door shut entirely on your connection, you know, they left the door slightly ajar just in case in the event that they ever did reconsider, you know, reconnecting with you. And you have, you know, someone that comes back. I mean, they always come back. They always do, right? So someone here, I feel like, comes back very unexpectedly, very, um, it feels like it's an ex. It feels like it's a fling that you far flung. This person comes back, reconnect. But in part two of this reading, we're going to explore whether it's genuine, whether they come back, they're sincerely apologetic, and whether they come back for a genuine reunion here, or whether they're just, you know, coming back simply because it's convenient for them, and, you know, they're using you as a form of distraction. We're also going to explore more about this new and exciting romantic connection that's taking place, and it feels like it's happening a lot sooner than you think. It may, you might even... Uh, meet this person within the matter if you haven't already within a matter of days or weeks here um queen of swords tells us that there's, there is going to be a lot of communication here and it feels like you're taking on this queen of swords energy it feels like you're you're coming into your own power you're a lot more assertive you're a lot more assertive a lot more confident here you're asking all the right questions you're holding people accountable for the roles that they've played in your life um, you're also holding yourself accountable in the process. So we're going to explore some of these options that you have. Okay, we're good, going to explore how you go about with some of this hurt or pain that you may be going through. So we'll explore this new connection as well that's coming in. It feels very exciting. It feels very, um, like there's a lot of energy, a lot of excitement, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here. We'll also explore this past energy that wants to come back into the picture. I mean... Are they sincere, are they genuine, or are they not? So once again, part two of this reading is going to be made via the extension link below. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect with me. I do just want to clarify to you all that the extension reading, the extension link to this video here is a collective message for all signs, for all 12 of the zodiac signs. So I just wanted to specify, okay, um, yeah, just wanted to clear that up. All right, guys, and I really appreciate your time, your attention, and your energy. Please show your support by liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thank you guys again. Bye for now.